Hey friends, today we are going to be testing out Disney's new Lightning Lane Premier Pass. This is a new pass Disney started selling that allows you to skip all of the lines and ride whatever ride you want whenever, but it costs $350. So I decided to buy it and make a video and share my experiences with you. We're going to go over all the details, see how many rides we can ride, and then I want to sit down and give you my overall thoughts. So we're going to eat some food ride some rides and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day today in the Magic Kingdom. Temperatures are in the low 70s. We've got some sun and I'm excited to spend the day riding rides with you guys and testing out the new Lightning Lane Premier Pass. Look at them ducks down there just swimming around the moat. I think that's such a great life. Let me start by saying this is something I'm probably not going to be able to do very often because it's very expensive. I looked this morning, I had to buy the Lightning Lane Pass at 7 a.m. this morning, and every single day the price is going to be different depending on the season, and each park has different prices too. So I decided to go Magic Kingdom, and it was $350 for today. $350. Animal Kingdom was the cheapest, then Epcot, then Hollywood Studios, and it's only available to deluxe resort guests at the moment, but I think it's going to change. And the pass is what it is. Like they say, you can ride all of the rides in the park once and you don't have to wait in line and you don't have a certain time. You can just show up and ride. And I'm excited. They give you a little list of all the rides like already preloaded that you can ride and it keeps track of the ones you ride and the ones you don't. And uh, I'm just excited to, like I said, share my experiences with you. I think I think the $350 price tag is very, very expensive, but I can see a lot of people wanting to do it for birthdays, honeymoons, like special occasions, but uh, to just constantly do that. And it's going to be very difficult for families because you're already paying the price of admission to get in the park. And then on top of that, paying more money. But I do like the idea behind it. I think it's going to be cool to just be able to do all the rides in a very quick time. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper, a little bit affordable for everybody, you know? I also want to keep track of the time. I got here for a rope drop. I had to film a couple of shots before we actually dive into the rides. So now I think I'm going to start clocking it. It is 10.39 a.m. And I think we're going to make our way back to Fantasyland to start. Because we have all day to ride all of these rides, I'm going to take it at a nice little casual pace. You know what I mean? Just kind of relax because I have no sense of urgency to get to certain spots so we can ride. And I kind of like that. But like I said, that's what you're paying for. And I figure we'll do it by land. You know what I mean? Maybe I'll start in Fantasyland, then Tomorrowland, Adventureland, Frontierland. And I don't think that any of the lightning lanes are available for like the uh, character meet and greets. They give you that certain list and I think it's 20 of them so 20 rides I hope we can do them all if not I've done them before but I kind of want to get a good use out of this pass so I'm gonna push myself we're gonna ride every ride I think we're gonna start with Seven Doors Mine Train. Right now, the wait time is 50 minutes uh, for standby, and I'm kind of interested in seeing if the Lightning Lane is backed up at all. <laughs> Does that work? There it goes, thanks. So now that we're inside the queue, I asked the cast members if anything special happened like on their screen when I touched in with the Lightning Lane Premier Pass and they said it just looked like a regular Lightning Lane and uh, it's just like, like I said, you're just in the Lightning Lane itself except for you don't have any time restraints or any wait times. You just, like I said, go right on in. And now that we've uh, started or already scanned in for this one, the, uh, it's probably gonna disappear or come off the list so that we can't ride it again. I decided on the back road, so here we go. Oh, my Lanza coming in hot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I love that ride. <laughs> Now that we used our lightning lane for Seven Doors Mine Train, it should pop up like redeemed here. I don't know where, oh, maybe at the bottom. Yeah, see, everyone redeemed Seven Doors Mine Train. So now we got all these to go. That was a great start to the day. I love Seven Doors Mine Train, but I never ride it because the line is so long and it's a very short ride. So I'm glad that we got to start out there. Now I think we're gonna move along, maybe make our way over to Winnie the Pooh. There's a lot of rides in Fantasyland. You got the Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, It's a Small World. I, technically, I would count Barnstormer because that's over in Storybook Circus, but we'll make our way around to all of them. Right now, Winnie the Pooh has a 25 minute wait, so it's actually not that bad. And I probably feel like I'm wasting the lightning lane, but you can't ride uh, any of the rides twice. So if I don't use it, then it is wasting it. I'm probably not gonna be filming all of the rides in their entirety, only because that would make a very long video, especially since I'm aiming to do all 20 of them. So just little snippets of me just having fun riding the rides in the park and seeing what it's like to actually use the Lightning Lane Premier Pass. It's more about the day than the ride, you know? Because there's nobody in the standby line, there's nobody in the Lightning Lane. Honestly, I probably could have just walked on the ride if I did standby. Looks like we got the front of the pot, the front of the honey pot. One day, a hundred acre wood, the east wind traded ice from the west wind. Watch out for like half a month in Mongo. They steal honey. Steal honey. Great, and now it's two down, 18 to go. And I think we're just gonna do a little wrap around, cut through Storybook Circus, and then come back up uh, to the Little Mermaid. Right next to Winnie the Pooh, they have the teacups, and it's only a five minute wait. But like I said, we gotta use it anyway, so we're gonna skip that five minute wait and go in the Lightning Lane premiere. I'm not spinning though. We've got a couple of rides that make you go round and round, so I don't want to get dizzy or sick. So nice casual pace. The spinning has got to be minimal. <laughs> Nobody's in that cup over there. Ooh, here we go. Uh, see how nice this is? A casual ride around the teacups. I like it. Not like them. <laughs> All right, we'll give it a little spin. <laughs> I think I'm spinning the roll. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh boy, too much spinning. I'm back to my nice casual pace now. Sit back and relax. Enjoy the teacups. Well, now we're three rides down, 17 to go. Dumbo is the next uh, ride kind of in line, but uh, I think I'm gonna sit that one out and hop over to the Barnstormer and come back. Just give a little break from the spinnies, going round and round. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Dumbo is also a five minute wait, so I'm glad that uh, we paid $350 to skip all these five minute waits. Oh, it also looks like the Barnstormer's five minutes too. So we're going down to the Barnstormer, the great, great Goofini. I decided on the back row for the Barnstormer. Wow, it is such a beautiful day out. I love this ride, even though it's very quick. Oh boy. Here we go. Hang on to your hat. <laughs> and it's done. 
the great Goofini does not disappoint. And now, like I said, I kind of feel like we're on a roll here. We got four rides down and we can make our way up to the Little Mermaid or we can detour and go over to Tron because it's actually right behind uh, uh, the uh, Barnstormer. I don't know what to do because I kind of want to keep Tron till later because that one I'm like probably most excited for. I think we're just gonna save Tron till later and make our way over to the Little Mermaid. I'm still not over the teacup, so I'm coming back for you, Dumbo. I'm coming back for you. I figured a good plan is to go do the Little Mermaid, come back, do Dumbo, and then cut through the back way and start in Tomorrowland with Tron. I kind of like the sound of that. I don't know if I picked the wrong day to test the Lightning Lane Premiere Pass out, but this is another five minute wait. <laughs> so we're gonna skip it and go in the Lightning Lane. Time for us to go under the sea. Let me start it. Well, I'm thinking that's a terrible place to start a story. I'll just tell you how it ends. Give her a kiss, you big lug. You've come to a stop. Hmm. Maybe it's that sea witch. Hmm. Listen to me. Stay seated in your club chair while I get to the bottom of this. The Little Mermaid was a fun ride. It was funny though because we kept on stopping and we were stopped in the room where Prince Eric and uh, Ariel were kissing and I was like, oh, they're smooching it. It was just kind of on repeat. But uh, I think we're making great time. We have almost all of the Fantasyland rides done except for Peter Pan and It's a Small World, which I think we'll do later on when we like, cut over to uh, Frontierland and Liberty Square. Now I think uh, we're gonna make our way over to Tron, but first we gotta stop at Dumbo. It is now 11.57, and I think we're making good time. About an hour, and we did five rides. I know it's a little off with the time because it takes a couple minutes for me to film these little videos, but we're moving along pretty good. Five rides in one hour. Dumbo was still a five minute wait. And the reason I was doing all the Fantasyland rides first is because they're dark rides, slower. So if we're gonna be doing all of the rides in one day, I kind of want to have the thrill and exciting ones kind of in the middle. So it kind of keeps me awake, you know? It's also cool they got the water running too. I kind of want to fly low just so I can be down by the water. That water looks pretty clean too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's funny because if you get stuck, you're just riding behind Dumbo's butt. <laughs> there we go. Look at this beautiful view up here. You can see the castle. I love it when we're high up in the air. I'm the king of the world. <laughs> I think we're coming down now. Woo! Dumbo was so much fun. I love just looking at all the views when you get to the top. Now we're gonna take the walkway behind Barnstormer and go ride Tron in Tomorrowland. Here is a list of all the rides we rode already. Right there at the bottom, already redeemed. Dumbo, Matt Tea Party, Seven Doors Mine Train, Barnstormer, Winnie the Pooh, and Under the Sea. And now, on to Tron. Because Tron is such an intense ride, I have to wear a body harness for my camera, like to bring it on so I can film it to show you. There it goes. There she goes. 
Looks like the standby wait time for uh, Tron only says 55 minutes, but it definitely looks a little bit crowded. Definitely a longer line, especially going all the way back like that. So I don't know if it's 55 minutes, but I'm glad we got the lightning lane. Keep your head up and face forward. Oh my lord. Ah, I thought we were taking off. was like a breath of fresh air. I feel rejuvenated now, ready to go. And since we're in Tomorrowland, might as well head over to Space Mountain. That's the next ride literally after Tron there. But it's a little dark and it's hard to film in there. So I'm not too sure how much I'll show you, but we got to check it off the list. It is such a strange day today because look at even Space Mountain is a 35 minute wait and Tron was only 55 which is not that bad. I guess I just picked the wrong day to try out the unlimited lightning lane uh, premiere pass that I got. It's kind of funny how I can't ride the teacups and Dumbo back to back but I could do Tron and Space Mountain. And I got the front row. Look at that. Oh, here we go. Space Mountain was awesome. I was screaming in there because at one point I came completely out of my seat. Like I literally felt the airtime there. Uh, and now I think I need a break from the roller coasters. Maybe we'll go ride Buzz. Maybe a little Buzz Lightyear. Another thing that I noticed isn't included in the uh, Lightning Lane Premier Pass, Astro Orbiter and uh, the People Mover. I mean, People Mover doesn't have a Lightning Lane, but I think that would be really cool. I mean, $350 is a lot of money. So, like, you really got to be like, oh, we get something special. Can you imagine if you bought that Premier Pass and you were allowed to ride the People Mover without having to wait? Or what if they sold an extra VIP premiere pass where you can just ride the people mover all day long like no waiting just ride the people mover and like they charge like 25 bucks i'd pay 25 bucks to just ride all day i cannot believe it look at this a 20 minute wait for buzz lightyear 20 minutes i'm telling you i really did pick the bad day not a single person in the queue <laughs> i could have done this without paying 350 I don't you think I'm actually going to play. I think I'm just going to sit back and relax. Oh! Activate. This snake warm thing is right in my face. If they took away the shooting aspect of this game, I would probably just ride this as a ride. We're stuck here, so I'm just sitting here hitting this warm. Gives you pretty good points. Oh, I should hit the, the volcano too. See ya, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> I'll spin all day. Ah, class. 
cells of Ransler. Oh really, there is the claw! <laughs> I love taking it easy on Buzz Lightyear, sitting back and just relaxing. And now we're like halfway done with all the rides. And I gotta check the time to see how we're doing. I think we're around like two, maybe three hours. And that's really good to be like doing this many rides in that short of time. But I think I need to take a little break because my head's getting a little spinny. You know, from like Space Mountain, Tron, Seven Doors, Mine Train. We're basically riding a ride almost every 10 to 20 minutes. So my brain's like, but he picked me up with his mom powers and shook me like a dog. <laughs> It's now 1.34 and we're almost halfway done with our list and it's kind of amazing. We did, uh, I think we're at nine rides, nine rides in uh, just about two hours, two and a half hours. That's not bad at all. And look at little Gracie. Isn't she the cutest? Like I said, we have gotten a lot done in just a very short amount of time, but you can actually do this without paying for the Lightning Lane Premier Pass. Just come for park opening, and a lot of the rides like you saw that were five minutes. Now, today is just a fluke day. There's probably a party tonight, and a lot of people don't come to the park during the day, but those rides like in Fantasyland are usually like 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, but if you do come for park opening, uh, you can usually knock out all of them very quickly. And and uh, I'm having a lot of fun. I'm enjoying using it, but uh, I don't know if I can say that it's worth the 350. Oh, I think Anastasia and Giselle, or Giselle is coming. Giselle <laughs> from Cinderella, the uh, evil stepsisters. Did you hear that? They call this cute. What are you doing? What are you playing with leaves? Look how big it is. And it's dirty. It's on the floor. You know, Cinderella doesn't clean. It's a nice leaf. Do you I'll want take it. I'll take it. It's a very precious little leaf. Thank you. I'm the proud owner of a leaf now. Look at that. Well, that was nifty running into them just sitting there. And now I think we're going to make our way uh, back up to Fantasyland to finish up Peter Pan and Small World. I've honestly got a little bit of a headache from riding so many rides like back to back to back. It kind of is messing with my equilibrium. Is that what it is? But here we are, Peter Pan, and I wonder what the wait time is. I forgot what number of rides this is. I think we might be at 10 exactly now. I'll have to check when we get off. And away we go! Peter Pan was a lot of fun and I still think it's crazy that I rode four different versions of that ride. Tokyo Disney, Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, and here at Walt Disney World. And now I think I'm going to go and jump to Frontierland. I kind of want to ride some rides that are outdoors. You know what I mean? I, I thought about doing Small World and Haunted Mansion because they were like next in line. But uh, I kind of want to take advantage of this beautiful air and uh, get some uh, wind in my hair, you know? Would you take a look at that wait time there for Big Thunder Mountain? 25 minutes. 25 minutes. I can't even believe it. But I think we're going to ride Tiana's first. I'm just still shocked at how low the weights are today. You know what I mean? Of all days. But it kind of just shows you that uh, you don't need to buy the Premier Pass. You just need to get uh, lucky on a certain day. Tiana's being the newest ride in Walt Disney World isn't even doing a standby. It's only virtual queue or lightning lane. So it's very uh, beneficial to use it, uh, the uh, pass here at this attraction. But I still can't get over 25 minutes for Big Thunder. Five minutes for all the other rides, 20 minutes. I think the highest posted wait time was 50 minutes for Seven Doors Mine Train or 55 minutes for Tron. And honestly, those aren't that bad of wait times for those rides. 
Looks like we're going front row. It's a little wet in here too. <laughs> I like to use my hat to actually protect the camera. So I'm gonna do that whenever we get to the big drop. Woo! I'm already getting misted. Every time we get to this drop, it makes this big clunk that literally shakes my whole body. Let me know if you guys know what I'm talking about. You can probably hear it, right? Oh, oh, right there. Oh, oh my Lanta, what was that for? <laughs> oh. Give me all. me <laughs> what a what a splash <laughs> i literally got it in my mouth the gig i think <laughs> i said again because it's happened before <laughs> that's an unnecessary splash welcome home of princess tiana and prince naveen I ended up getting soaked on Tiana's and that's why I didn't go on Big Thunder first because now we can go ride Big Thunder and dry off a little bit. And would you look at that. The wait time actually went down for Big Thunder Mountain. 20 minute wait. Wow. Let's remove them. If any of you folks are wearing hats or glasses, remove them because this here is a wildest ride in the wind. The back row of this ride is so awesome. I love it. When you first come out, it literally, you just feel like you're flying out of there. So cool. <laughs> now that we got Big Thunder Mountain and Tiana's Bayou Adventure done, I think that puts us at 13 rides already. We got Little Mermaid, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 12 rides. And this is what we have left. I love how they have it. They even have little check marks there. So I think we're gonna make our way over to Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean.
I know that there's a couple of rides that we missed in certain lands, like the Tomorrowland Speedway, Small World, and the Haunted Mansion. I'm gonna try to go back and do those, because as you can see, it's kind of just as easy as showing up and just riding the ride. And those uh, wait times are still pretty low, except for the Haunted Mansion, because tomorrow is Halloween, and it seems like everyone wants to ride the Haunted Mansion. And I don't blame them, because it's like the best time to do it. And would you look at that, Pirates has a 10 minute wait. A 10 minute wait. Like I said, I don't mind because I was planning on doing this today anyway, but it just seems like it's a day where you could have done this without buying the Lightning Lane Premium Pass because all the rides, like majority of the rides are under 30 minutes. And that's like a very rare day here in Disney. Pirates was a lot of fun and it was kind of really relaxing just sitting down taking it all in for a little bit I didn't film much because like I said we've already filmed so much actually today uh, especially all the rides but now uh, I'm gonna try to finish up keep on going through Adventureland maybe Jungle Cruise and then maybe the Magic Carpets and I think that, that wraps it up the Tiki Room's not a part of the uh, Premium Express Premium Express, the Lightning Lane Premium Pass, uh, but they don't even have a Lightning Lane offer. It's just a show. Same thing with the Country Bear Jamboree, which makes me like wonder why did they have Monsters Inc. and uh, Mickey's Philhar Magic in there? But I'm probably not going to do those two. So I guess we'll put ourselves at 18, and hopefully we'll get to all 18. I know Jungle Cruise isn't going to let me down with the long wait time. 40 minutes. <laughs> I just say it. I just kind of want the long wait times at this point. <laughs> Jungle Cruise usually has a long wait time because of the loading process. It's hard to actually load up the, the boats. And uh, like I said, it's always a long wait. 40 minutes now. It doesn't even look like there's a lot of people here. This is almost all of the standby queue. I think it actually goes back a little bit more over there. And the lightning lane's right here. I think we're stopping because they said some hippos uh, attack some boats or something. Yo, how funny is that? The Jungle Cruise did end up going down, but it wasn't because of hippos. They usually just say that uh, during, like, on the intercom, like, joking around. Like, your uh, expected wait time might be longer because, like, the angry hippos. But I think something actually did happen, and it went down for a little bit. And it kind of makes me wonder, since now I have this Lightning Lane Premier Pass, back in the day, if a ride went down when you had a Lightning Lane or a Fast Pass, they gave you uh, kind of like a redemption, like, multi, uh, pop, the pass, multi pass, where you can use it anywhere, but I don't think that applies to this. I'm gonna find out though. Oh, sorry, man. Oh, that was Jack Sparrow that just parted me. Parted me. <laughs> now we're gonna go uh, on to uh, the magic carpets. On Dumbo, you can control going up and down, but on the magic carpets, you can actually tilt the carpet and go up and down. So you go like this, just like that. <laughs> I wish I can fish that map out of the water there. Also, look at the camels. Don't they look so sleepy? I'm pretty sure this is our 15th ride. Hey, man, 15. Ooh. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. A whole new world. <laughs> what a fantastic point of view. We're really on top of the world here. 
Oh, it looks busy down there. Oh, we're going down now. Whoa. It's a little bouncy. With the magic carpets, that puts us at 15 rides for the day. And honestly, I think I'm okay with that. I wish I could have done them all, but the Haunted Mansion, that, the Haunted Mansion and Small World are the only other two rides that are on the list that I really wanted to do. The other two were just shows like Monsters, Inc. and Mickey's Fill Her Magic. Oh, and the Tomorrowland Speedway. But the Haunted Mansion, tonight's the last night uh, before Halloween that regular day guests can actually ride the Haunted Mansion because tomorrow's a party and then Halloween is over so it's very busy like I said the lightning lanes are uh, backed up and I think uh, I'm okay with just calling it a night here yeah, I could easily do all those other rides like it's just the way it's been going but I'm okay with saying no and resting up and I think we'll go home check on Gracie Grill and uh, I'll let you know uh, my overall thoughts of the day <laughs> there she is the most beautiful Dalmatian on earth. Gracie girl. What? You miss me? What are you doing? And with that, we are done here today. It was a long day, but I had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm happy that we got to ride as many rides as we did. I wish I could have gotten all the rides done, but uh, like I said, I wanted to get home. I wanted to see Gracie. I might go back later on tonight and ride Haunted Mansion at night. I was thinking about that uh, on my drive home. I'm like, you know what? I might go home, take Gracie out, go for a nice little walk, relax a little bit, and then go back and uh, use my lightning lane for the Haunted Mansion. Other than that, the other rides like, you know, the Tomorrowland Speedway, Small World, uh, Monsters, Inc., and uh, Phil Her Magic are rides I just do on a regular basis anyway. It was more about showcasing the past. And uh, my overall thoughts are, I mean, I loved it. I thought it was a great experience, but it's just not worth the money. $350, you could buy two tickets to uh, Mickey's Not-So-Scary Halloween Party. Well, kind of. Or you could... Uh, rent a fireworks cruise for 10 people i think that's 400 dollars. you can go out and watch uh, the fireworks on the water on your own private pontoon boat there's like a lot of things you could do with that money uh in disney where you'll see that it's kind of like not worth it because Overall, you can do a lot of rides. It just takes you a lot of time, takes you a lot of planning and stuff like that. Where this comes out of play is that you kind of just don't have to worry about anything. It's carefree, go ride rides, have fun. But I started questioning myself like when I was like doing the rides back to back to back to back. I don't even know if I want to do that. <laughs> I'm like, like, you know what I mean? Like, it sounds amazing, and maybe I'm just getting older, but I, I was like, wow, my head is kind of spinny right now. I feel funny, <laughs> you know, especially when I got off of Space Mile, and I was feeling it then. But overall, like I said, I might do this, like, if my family comes down every once in a while, but it's not something I'm going to be participating in a lot. And honestly, if it was, you know, up to me to like choose just for myself i probably would never buy it again you know it, the only time i'm ever gonna probably buy this is if there are other people that like have never been to disney or don't go that often where i know i can like you know show them a good time and it, you know there are people out there that have the money for it and if that's what they want to spend 350 dollars on i mean taylor swift tickets are a couple thousand or you know what i mean the, the, i looked at tickets to go see sabrina carpenter and it was like six hundred dollars so you know it's you know what you want to do and i know that there's a lot of people out there who would rather spend a day riding all the rides at magic kingdom than probably go to a concert and that's okay you know it's not for everybody so i hope you enjoyed the video Video. I enjoyed making it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!